Okay, so let's go ahead in our source and we're gonna just follow right here in the app.view and this is where the HTML and associated CSS is going to be placed uh, for the header portion. So this router view, we're gonna leave it here. However, we're going to get rid of this image source. Okay, so right now it would be worth uh, referring back to the Balma CSS documentation to see if there's any specific elements that are already in place for something like a navigation bar or a header. Okay, so here I am at balma.io forward slash documentation overview start. Okay, so uh, if we click on the layout tab, um, we can see we don't have anything here. We do have uh, like a hero section. And we'll use that eventually as well as a footer section. If we click on components though, we can see we have a nav section. All right, so we did refer back to this uh, earlier in the course when we were working with an Adobe XD to see kind of, you know, how the default nav bar is laid out, which is right here. So it gives you some example HTML to use and to refer to based on your particular needs. So I pretty much followed this, you know, relatively closely. However, I did adapt it, you know, um, to go from something like this to something like this up here at the top. As you can see, they're basically the same almost. Okay, so I uh, let's go ahead and get started writing out our HTML. I'm gonna hit Control B just to get rid of that sidebar. And all right, so the first element that we're gonna add is a class of nav. So div class equals nav and a uh, helper class, we can actually add a shadow with has hyphen shadow and this is optional you don't have to add it but it's just barely noticeable so I'm choosing to add it and then inside of here we have div class container and container is also specific to Balma and it's defined and it adds a you know a, a centered container um, from which you can place all of your content now you probably wouldn't add that if you wanted a fluid width layout all right Next here is also specific to the nav component. So div class equals nav left, and this is going to hold our logo. So we're gonna put in a class nav item, and this is another item or class rather that we add for individual items like a logo, uh, the individual elements um, for our links and such. So my company, all right, so just after the closing tag of nav left, we're gonna add in a span class of nav toggle. So span class equals nav hyphen toggle. And this is for the hamburger icon menu. And the way they have that set up is inside, we have three additional spans, which serve as each of the three horizontal lines that make that icon up. So there's a spans opened and closed. So copy that, paste it three times. We will we'll, uh, come back to this though to make it actually work and add um, some view specific functionality there. But we're gonna leave it like that for now. So div class, oops, div class equals nav right and nav hyphen menu. Again, we're gonna come back to this and add some I view specific stuff inside of that particular class. All right. And next here's where we have our four links uh, right here. So home, about, features, and fact. So ordinarily you would use like an ahref um, or like a unordered list or something. But for us, we're going to be using uh, something specific to view, which is router link. So router hyphen link, all right, two, and you can think of this kind of like the href. So we have our first one is going to be home, but first let's add a class of nav item, and I'm gonna add my own class of r hyphen item, and we'll define that later on. All right, so router link, so now we take this and we copy and paste it. We have four primary links there. Each one of these, for now, I'm just going to make them all point to fact because I'm not creating the other uh, pages. It'll be a little bit redundant for the purpose of this course. So features, about, 
and fac. All right. And then we also have an additional button. So div class equals nav hyphen item. And again, I got most of this, uh, this scaffolding, if you will, from uh, the example on the nav component page that we just took a look at at balma.io. So we add p class equals control. And here we have a class equals button is hyphen primary is for designating the primary color uh, that's associated with our theme here. So we're going to make that 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 button a primary color and also is outlined. And this is a class that makes it so that the uh, button is not outlined because if you recall right here, we made it kind of hollow. Well, not kind of hollow, it is hollow. So let's come down here and close that A tag here. And then we put in inside of the button, a span class of icon. Close that out. And also I class equals FA for font awesome and FA hyphen download. Now we didn't actually include font awesome yet. So let's do that just in a second. Let's create the actual text, which is span join now. And let's save it. Now, if we refer back to the browser at this point, if you have npm run dev already ran, you'll see uh, we have the basic structure here. Um, we do have a little bit of a uh, margin or padding up there. We'll figure that out. But uh, we can see we don't have the actual icon um, showing up. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. If you go back to the Balma IO documentation, we'll see that at the bottom, uh, we have font awesome. We need to include this in our index.html. So copy that, control B, index, just uh, right here, just above the closing head tag, we'll save it. And there we go, let me check this out. Awesome. So obviously the color's not correct, but uh, we will correct that. And this uh, top section right here, I forgot, it's based on the um, CLI generating some CSS there, which we didn't get rid of yet. So let's uh, go back real quick to our app view. And all of this stuff, we're just going to gut it. So let's get rid of that. Now we go back and we can see that that's much better. Okay. Let's do some real quick uh, CSS slash SAS to get this thing working a little bit better or looking a little bit better, more consistent with our mockup. So I'm just kind of dragging this over and we'll see if we can get away with just doing a kind of a split screen so you can see how it updates as we write our CSS. So we're gonna reference the nav class and we're gonna make the background and make sure you indent this correctly as that's how SAS works. Background color. We'll make it 383838. And that's, you can grab that color code, by the way, from our, our mockup. That's what I used. All right, save it. And you can see how that updates. Um, we're also going to add, um, we're going to reference rather um, the links inside of it in the hover state. So A, hover, hit enter, and tab in. We're going to make them gray. So, because right now, if you hover over them, they're like that. Make sure you space that out, otherwise it won't work. Now, we're pretty much staying the same. Next, we also have uh, our, let's see here, nav hyphen left A. So we're going to style the logo. And we're gonna come in and we're gonna make it white. And also, we're gonna make it font white of bold. There we go. Additionally, we're going to reference the links with a class of r-item, which is a custom class that's not defined in Balma, but one that we're going to do instead. We're gonna make the color C1, C1, C1. So we'll save that just to make these pop out a little bit more. Next, we're going to give them um, a padding. So the padding will be 0.5 rems 
on the top and then 1.75 rems on the bottom. We'll save it. So it's gonna space them out a little bit more. And then also just for mobile only, so we're gonna add mobile here with a plus. We're gonna make the color gray and their hover state, sorry about that, and cool and hover. Give us some space here. We're gonna make the background color really light. So F1, F1, F1. Uh, we can't really see this yet because the navigation isn't responsive and we can't see that, but uh, we'll get to that momentarily. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save and that's good for now. Uh, so in the next section, we're gonna focus on getting this responsive navigation actually working. And if you look right here, we could see, we click on it, nothing happens. 